Hi, so after recording the videos for section, uh, solution videos for section 4.4, some of the problems were renumbered, and what I called number, problem number one is now problem number 29. In problem number one of section 4.4, we're given a word problem in which we're going to apply the techniques of uh, solving differential equations that we've learned in the past couple chapters. Now, this problem gives us a superhero of mass 55 kilograms. And she leaps from a plane 3,000 meters above the Earth. And she is wearing a jetpack that can exert 535 newtons uh, downwards. And we're going to assume that the force due to air resistance is proportional to her velocity uh, with constant of proportionality 1. Now, part A asks us to use Newton's second law to set up a differential equation to solve for velocity. Now, Newton's second law says that uh, the sum of forces is equal to uh, mass times acceleration. But we're given her mass here, that's 55. And her acceleration is just going to be the derivative of her velocity. So we'll write ma equals 55 dv dt. And then Let's just sum up each of the forces that are, uh, that are acting on her. So the first force is due to gravity. That's going to be negative uh, 55 times g, uh, which g, of course, being the uh, gravitational constant, which is approximately 9.8 meters per second squared. And, and we'll also have uh, the force from the jetpack, which uh, will be pushing her upwards. So we'll have uh, 535 newtons up, positive. And then we'll have force due to air resistance, which will be negative V. And the negative sign is because our velocity is going to be negative, or because when our velocity is negative, in other words, when she's falling, we want the air resistance to be the force due to air resistance to be positive or upwards. So if we work this out, this ends up being about negative 4 minus v. So if we just rearrange this a little bit, our differential equation is 55 dv dt equal to negative 4 negative v. Now, in part B, we actually use this uh, differential equation to solve for velocity and using the initial condition that um, her initial velocity is zero. So uh, first thing we can do is separate uh, our variables and put all the v's on the left-hand side. And so if we write dv over negative 4, negative v is equal to dt over 55. And now we can just integrate both sides on the left with respect to v. Now, this is going to be negative natural log of the absolute value of negative 4, negative v. And on the right, we'll have t over 55 uh, plus some constant c. Now, if we move the minus sign to the right, and now we can uh, take, the, or, uh, take the exponential of both sides. So we'll have negative 4, negative v is equal to e to the negative t over 55 plus c. But this is going to be the same as um, e to the c times e to the negative t over 55. And if we just, since e to the c is just a constant, we'll just rename our, uh, or, yeah, rename our constant and write c e to the negative t over 55. All right, so now we can use this to solve for v. So that v is equal to, now c, if we move c e to the negative t over 55. Uh, so this would be negative v uh, plus 4. 
And now if we multiply by a negative 1 on each side, we get v equals negative c, uh, e to the negative t over 55 minus 4. And finally, we can use our initial condition, which is v of 0 equals 0, to solve for, um, for the velocity. So v of 0 equals 0, which is also equal to negative c minus 4. And if we solve this, we get that c is equal to minus 4. So our final equation for the velocity of our superhero is v, over t, or v of t equals well, negative, negative 4, or just positive 4, e to the negative t over 55 minus 4. Now, part C uh, asked, what's the, asked to find the terminal velocity or the equilibrium velocity of the superhero in free fall. So we have a bunch of forces acting on her, one which is um, dependent on her velocity. So, and it's acting against the velocity, so as, and that's the air resistance. So as our superhero is falling, the air resistance is going to increase. There's you know, constant force due to gravity, and there's a constant force due to the jetpack. We want to know, kind of, when do these forces balance out? So what we'll do is, um, so you take, we want to know, um, I'm going to cut it here and just do it, start over on part C. Do you want me to stop the camera? Um, no, that's fine. I just want you to check my notes. I'm ready to go. So in part C, we're asked to find the terminal velocity or equilibrium velocity of the superhero. So in other words, if you were allowed to fall indefinitely, uh, at what time, uh, or it, what, what would be her kind of the velocity that she would tend towards? Uh, so really what we're asking is, what is the limit as t approaches infinity of v of t? Now, this is going to be the limit as t approaches infinity of 4 times e to the negative t over 55 minus 4. Now, as t gets bigger and bigger, this is going to, uh, e to the, or the exponent here is going to get bigger and bigger, but it's negative, so e to the negative t over 55 is going to approach 0 uh, as uh, t approaches infinity. So we see that the negative, or the terminal velocity is negative 4 meters per second. Now, part d um, asks what her velocity is when she reaches the ground. So in order to find this out, we need to know what, her pos what the position function is. So her position at time t, let's call it p of t, will be equal to the integral of her velocity. And uh, this will be the integral of 4 e to the negative t over 55 minus 4 dt. And if we work this out, we will get 1 over 1 over negative 1 over 1 over 55 or 55 t 
times 4 uh, e to the negative t over 55, uh, negative 4t, and plus a constant. So to negative 220 t over 55 minus 4t plus c. Now, we're given that she is initially, I believe, 3,000, uh, yes, 3,000 meters above the Earth. So we know that the position at time 0 uh, is 3,000. And this is also equal to well, negative 220. Now, e to the 0 is 1. Uh, second term here will just go to 0. And plus c. So this means that c is equal to 3,220. So position at time t will be equal to negative 220 e to the negative t over 55 minus 4t plus 3,220. Now, we want to know um, at what time does her position equal zero? Her initial position is 3,000 meters above the Earth. We want to know when is she zero meters above the Earth, or when, it, when does she hit the Earth? And this would be rather difficult to do by hand, but if you uh, substitute or plug this into a computer program that can solve equations, you'll find that t well, uh, will be equal to about 805 seconds. Now, it doesn't ask, the problem doesn't ask us what time she hits the Earth. It asks us what her velocity is when she reaches the ground. So what we're really interested in is the velocity at time 805. And if we evaluate that, find that it's about negative 3.995. Uh, of course, meters per second. 